I knew back in 2014 when I was reading the book how much the country needed this story that, I mean, it's very hard to get people to want to talk about racism. The unique genius of James McBride is he manages to make it fun to talk about it and to see healing as something that would feel good. Imagine if Huck Finn were African-American boy who was cross-dressing and crazy superstitious Jim was crazy superstitious John Brown. It's a touch Coen Brothers, it's a touch Tarantino, it's a touch Roots. It's, it's kind of like John Brown if Chris Rock, Richard Pryor and Red Fox told you the story. We really wanted to achieve what McBride achieved in a literary form. We wanted to do it with cinema. Working with Ethan was an amazing experience. He was such a, a brilliant actor. He's an amazing person. I was really nervous in the beginning. Kind of helped me get out my shell and really put myself out there. When I really put myself inside the character of Onion, it wasn't even like him trying to be a girl. It was him wearing that dress so he can survive. And the convenience is that he looked like a girl at some time to some people. It was a little different, yes. I just didn't, I didn't know how to wear a dress. Like I didn't know how to walk in. So I used to step right through the dress, tear it. My wardrobe person, they get mad at me a lot. But the advantage of wearing a dress in 120 degree Virginia weather over my castmates who wear full wool suits um, was very <laughs> Nobody thinks when you think you can make a series about the nation's greatest wounds, slavery, that it could possibly be funny. It's full of so much humanity and so much ridiculousness that you just start to see the humor in everything. I have no sense of pride or self-esteem about the writing or producing of Good Lord Bird because the writing of it was so James McBride. He trusted me and I, I just felt indebted to his grace and his artistry, and I, I wanted to deliver.